Hey guys, welcome to part three. Uh, let's get started and hopefully finish it up. All right. Uh, so set viewport settings, right? So I'm gonna be. Uh, let's see, this guy's gonna be named to. Name him the new viewport. Uh, so, okay, so first we're gonna set the scale, then we're gonna set the location to the center. Um, if you don't send it to the center, it's kind of like the, uh, like the left side of the drawing will be placed in the center of the sheet, as opposed to the center of the drawing placed in the center of the sheet. So, um, you can test that out if you want. Uh, but the way we do that, oh, and then we're also gonna set the, um, the uh, viewport to show the uh, label, right, as to yes, as opposed to, you know, like when, uh, only when two drawings are on the sheet. Uh, and then later on, we're also going to change uh, the, mm, actually, that should be it. Yeah, okay, great. Double tag, that's it, okay. All right, cool, almost done. Uh, so for that, it's just going to be a new viewport dot, we're going to do, use lookup parameter. And we're going to look for view scale. Right, this is the one I told you to um, take note of, right? In the beginning when I showed the video. Scale, right? And let's see, dot set. And we're going to set that to 24. Okay. And then new viewport dot set box center. And we're going to say new XYZ. I'm going to say location oops, dot u, comma, location dot v, comma, zero. Okay, and terminate that. And then here we're going to change uh, the Boolean to show the tag, right? Or sorry, to show, sorry, just show label, not tag. And that's going to be reset to a boolean. Oops. Bool mean view port type parameter show label is equal to doc doc get element. And find the new port ID, so new viewport dot get type ID dot get parameter that one. This one we're looking for the built in parameter. Built-in parameter dot viewport, and we're looking for the show label dot set. Oops. Dot set, and it takes the integer value, so it's gonna be one. Okay. And then, so if you set it to zero, um, this one is gonna be the none, I believe. Uh, and then if you set it to Oh, no, sorry, I lied. Uh, this one is a show label. Yeah, so this so zero is going to be um, you know, like show others, and then one is going to be yes, and I believe two is going to be no. All right. And if you if you hover over this, it'll show up on the screen. Yep. So show title right here. So that's what you're looking for. All right. Okay. Uh, so that's done back and then okay so now we need to create another or so now we're going to edit the load family or sorry load view title family class that we created previously so over here we're gonna <clears throat> so say uh, if view title is equal to none dot count so 
full view titles dot count oops dot count oops is equal to zero then do this And now we come over to our load view title. And we're going to do a similar thing to what we did in the load title blocks. Okay. And so we're going to go to, let's go to title blocks and copy this. So we're going to need that, right? And that's, we're going to need that though after we do create the public void for it. Uh, so it's going to be, let's see, yeah, it's going to be um, public void load family, and we're going to take external command data, oh, Thermal command data, and then call it command data. All right, and then <clears throat> we're gonna paste that guy in, and then we're gonna do uh, import those things that we need. Application services, and then document.db. Great. Okay, and then we're gonna uh, pre transaction set family to null, and then set path, and then go to family. Okay, that should be it. So we're gonna set family to null, so this should be family, family, sequel to null, and then set a path, right? That's just going to be a uh, string path is equal to, and I'm going to copy mine. Yours is set to wherever your view title path is set, which probably should be similar to mine, hopefully. Um, copy. And paste. Alright. Cool. All right, now we're gonna load the family, and we're just gonna call doc.load family, and we're gonna load it from the path because we have the direct path to the exact family. All right, so we're just loading in this one, the one that's named this one. Right, so view title with sheet, and then it's gonna be uh, out and family. Great. Okay, and that should do it for him. Now we go back to command.cs. Okay, so now we're back in command.cs and we're going to say uh, if there's no count or if there's no view titles loaded, then load a family for it. Alright, and that's just going to be load view title. I'm going to call it load view title. SQL to new load view title. Alright, and then down here is going to be load view title, calling the command, which is load family, and command data. Okay, cool, great. All right, and almost done, two more lines, and it's just gonna be, uh, here we're gonna set the view title, we're gonna set the viewport to have a family of, <coughs> of um, view sheet with uh, title. It's gonna be, so there's a bool, and we're gonna say new viewport type Parameter change label is equal to dot dot get element new viewport dot get type ID and then 
dot get parameter. And we're going to call built in parameter dot report underscore tag. I believe. Okay, great. And then for that, then we're going to call <clears throat> here. I'll make it more readable for you guys. So come down. Okay, we're going to say dot set. And we're going to set it to call view titles. And since that's the only one that we need, right, we're just going to call view titles dot. Uh, we're just going to grab the first element since we only have one loaded in. So call view titles dot first element ID. <clears throat> All right, that should be it for him. And then over here we're going to. Uh, oh, whoops. Of course. You guys right there. And then just uh, commit the transaction, and then we're done. Come on, transaction. Oh, he's already there, of course. Miss that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run it, and then hopefully we didn't miss anything. If we did, I'll let you know. Also, uh, one thing to note. So when you load families, I went down a huge rabbit hole, um, but when you load families, okay, don't try to load the family ID over here in the Utah family, right? If you get the family from here, right, like get the family ID, don't try to grab it from here, okay? Definitely use the cool view titles, search your cool view titles, and then grab that first element ID, or grab that element ID from there, okay? I went down a huge rabbit hole. I was getting um, internal exceptions for issues and stuff, and it took me a very couple, a long couple of days to figure that out that this was the issue, okay? Um, so, yeah, so be sure to use cool view titles that you established in here in the command.cs and then get the first element ID, okay? Alright, uh, let's go and test it. Alright, see you guys in a bit. So we have created a new project, right? We're back in Revit. We have our new test tab and our new button that we just made, right? We have no sheets loaded in. We have no view titles, no families, only basic plans. And we're gonna hit the button. And, oh, wait, I lied. Whoops, forgot. You need to have, you can't place an empty view, right? So, uh, let me try that again. All right, guys, uh, take two, so. Place a wall, and then let's hit our button. Let's see what happens. Nope, still getting there. All right, uh, let me figure this out, and then I'll let you know what it is. Hey guys, uh, so um, hopefully you guys noticed this when I was first initially writing it up, but obviously, you know, like I'm here referencing view plans, and here I'm calling title blocks, right? So obviously, not what you want to do. So uh, we're just gonna do this. So call view plans. Old view plans, copy, and then paste, and then cold view plans. Yep, okay, that looks good. And then obviously, we're also going to do the same thing down here. So cold view titles, and then here do that too. And then cold view ports. Also do that here too. All right. Okay. One more look through. Also, don't panic if you guys get errors. All right, you know it happens all the time. Um, so, you know, it's kind of part of the learning process. You know, you learn what you can do, what you can't do, and then, you know, like, you know, uh, hopefully also sharpen your eyes at the same time. Uh, over a while, you know, you can start getting pretty good at figuring out what's going to work and what's not going to work. All right. Okay. I'm going to try and run this again, and we'll see what happens. All right. Take three guys, here we are. Let's hit it. And we are rolling. And everything looks like it checked out. Alright, so we got a few plans, check our plans. Virtual plans, yep, grab the level one, copy that. Good. And then <coughs> uh, sheets. Great one was created, and then great. Yeah, one was placed there. It has our view title that we want on it, right? And check that, and then we also check 
Show extension line, yes. View show title, yes. Great. Everything looks good. All right, guys. Um, thanks for uh, uh, watching. Of course, you know, like uh, of course, like comments below. You know, like let me know what you guys also want to see. Uh, next one on the list is uh, placing a uh, detail view, right? And then we'll also be placing a component in the detail view, and then we'll just be placing that one on a sheet, right? Pretty basic and easy, but it's definitely you know very uh, one of the you know staples of Revit using drafting using drafting views. All right, uh, so, and then after that, uh, someone came in also and said that will be, they wanted me to show how to schedule everything, like all items in a project, so I'll see if I can do that. Uh, and then also there is, okay, also there is, um, so we're gonna be organizing views on a sheet uh, after that, so like we have multiple drafting views or multiple view plans or whatever, right? Uh, we'll be taking the outer bounds of the box, right? So it's like our, so like this box right here, right? Of course it disappears when I don't want it to. There we go. Come on. Okay. Yeah, so this box, right? So that's the outer bounds of Revit, right? So you need that if you want to place multiple views on a sheet, right? And lay those out accordingly. Um, if you use a guide grid, right? Um, a lot of firms will generally use that or they'll have their own. Um, and I know they're pretty important for laying stuff out, especially on like a, a 30 by 42 sheet, you know, like when you have multiple details, like usually it's like 30, 30 details, I think, going across the entire page. Uh, so um, that's pretty important, right? And of course, you know, if you want your details to fall inside those uh, guide grid points, you know, or like you know, it just stretches over multiple ones and, you know, if you want it to stretch across two and then, you know, if you want the next one to um, go down to the next one, right? And of course, if you want, you know, like uh, details that you know, are only wall details, you know, you want them to go on the wall detail sheet, or windows, or whatever, right? You want those to all go on their according sheets, or their respective sheets, right? Okay, so, um, after this one, in case we have that, so drafting view, and then, oh, uh, tag walls by parameter, okay? So, um, I'll just draw walls, right, and then we'll be able to hit a button, and we'll tag views, you know, or tag walls that are exterior, right, or tag walls that are some other parameter base. Okay, uh, and then after that, we're gonna create roof, create ceiling, uh, create a stacked wall. No, I haven't tried that one yet. That one should be interesting. Door family with side light. Um, and place them in the project, um, and then schedule stuff. Right. All right, cool guys. Um, also, um, if you feel like helping me out, which would be great right now, considering that you know COVID nineteen has had this lovely effect on everyone, um, feel free to donate. I mean, contribute to me doing this stuff for you guys, right? Um, you know, unemployment benefits only last so long, and so does my bank account, unfortunately. Uh, so if you feel like contributing, um, I have a uh, Venmo account and a Cash App account, right? And so those handles are, bring them up, and so I'll spell it right here for you. It's a funny story, probably. So it's Jaded Jedi 117 Pretty easy. Um, let's see. Cool. I will see you guys in the next one.